Here's my parent Windows 7 machine. It's got VMware Workstation installed. I'm going to nip across to the Backtrack website. I'm going to pull down the R1 version. I've had a couple of issues with that too. Uh, the GNOME 32-bit VMware version. I'm going to direct download. I'm not going to turn it down. You can fill all this malarkey in if you want. But hopefully, after a couple of seconds, it should start to download. There it is there. Now I'm going to speed this up for the purpose of the video. That's it downloaded. By default, my browser will have dropped that on my desktop. There it is there. If I open that up, uh, it's compressed zip file. I'm going to extract those files to the root of my C drive. And again, this takes a little while, so I've sped it up for the purpose of the video. Now I've got all those files extracted on the root of my C drive. Let's just check they're there. And there they are there. The one that we're going to want to import is the VMX file. So I can close that down and I'm finished with that zip file now. I can delete that. If I launch VMware Workstation, I've got a file open and browse for that VMX file. Remember, it's on the root of my C drive. VMX and select open. And all being well, after a couple of seconds, that will open up. I'm just going to edit the machine's virtual settings. By default, it's got 768 meg, which is adequate, but I'm going to just knock it up a little bit. And now I'm going to power it on. I'm going to select I moved it. If you have got two copies and you have copied it on your network, make sure you select I have copied it. Well, that's only if, you move, if you're going to run two versions. Uh, this is just a warning to say that all the stuff on my machine is going to get presented to the VM, that's fine. And as it starts up, eventually it will ask me to log in. The username is root, R -O -O -T, and the password is to a T double R. And to start the graphical console, the command is start X. Now, the first time you launch it up, it'll take a little while. Again, I've sped this up for the purpose of the video. That's it launched, and uh, the screen resolution is a little low, so I'm just going to knock that up. I'm going to pre do, 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 monitor preferences. Just knock the resolution up a little bit. Let's find a decent 16 by 9 resolution. That should do me. That's better. Yes, I want to keep that. Apply. Yes, I want to keep that. And that's what's installed. And our applications are ready to be run. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to come and visit us www.peatnetlife.com